blood pressure is dropping to a lethally low level. This happens in cardiac arrest and cardiogenic shock. The nephron funnels water to the bladder to be excreted. Water enters the nephron from the bloodstream and passes all the way through the nephron to the bladder. At different points in the nephron, water can be reabsorbed back into the bloodstream instead of being excreted. One of these points is the collecting duct, where the vasopressin receptor can be found. This is vasopressin. This is the vasopressin receptor. When vasopressin binds to the vasopressin receptor, it increases the ability of water to pass through the collecting duct membrane. This allows water to be reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. We can give a drug called vasopressin that mimics the endogenous hormone. This will react at the collecting duct, similarly to the endogenous vasopressin, and allow water to be reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. With more water in the bloodstream, the blood volume increases. During cardiac arrest and cardiogenic shock, this increases and stabilizes the blood pressure.